What's up everybody? My name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. We're on our last cruise of the summer. Actually just coming back in. We've got uh, some first time riders with us back here. And uh, just went out for a little hour long ride or so on a kind of a gray rainy day, but at least we were able to take it out for one more ride. Most of this video is going to be the haul out. So that's coming up here in another week, week and a half. So I'll be back up here to get the boat out of the water and uh, wrap up our boating season officially. Start working on it, unless it sells. <laughs> All right, we're back on the dock. And uh, the boat's coming out in a week, week and a half. It's either gonna come out on October 5th or October 9th. So I'll come back up here in a week to 10 days, get everything moved off of it, and we'll go haul out. So until then, how about right now? All right, it's a Wednesday evening, October the 7th. And uh, as mentioned, when we were here a couple weeks ago, the uh, last cruise has happened. The boat's coming out of the water on Friday. Uh, so I've got a few things to do tomorrow, clean up the boat, take everything off the boat, do the oil change, which will be a separate video from this one. And then we'll, uh, We'll show the the uh, run over to um, uh, Skipper Buds to the haul out lift and take the boat out of the water. So if I do anything um, fun or interesting in the meantime, the next couple days, I'll certainly put that in this video. But uh, sad time of year, haul outs here. All right, well, the workday has arrived. Um, getting kind of a slow start here to the morning. It's 9 a.m. Um, <laughs> just sitting here messing around on the on the laptop contemplating going to get some breakfast but uh i've got a number of things to do today um probably we'll do a couple of separate videos as mentioned already i'm going to do the oil change um, i've got to clean everything up get all the stuff out of the boat i'm going to take more stuff out of the boat this year than i normally would because it is for sale and um, i just don't want to have to make a separate trip to come get personal items off of the boat um the shower sump has been um uh the gray water shower sump has been um needed to be tapped on to get working so i think i'm going to pull that out clean it up over the winter or perhaps replace it but i think just cleaning it will will probably take care of it so i'll uh i'll show that probably do a video on that and uh and certainly the oil change so <sighs> Time to get to work, cleaning everything out. Here we go. All right, working on draining the uh, water tank. Holds about 30 gallons. It's been running for a while. You can hear the water pump, uh, the pressure pump working. And I'm monitoring the sump just to be sure that it's kicking on like it should be, and it is. And once this is emptied out, uh, I'm going to take a uh, wet... Uh, wet dry vac the shop vac and vacuum out that little bit of water that's right down in there because as i said the sump sometimes won't kick on because it's just dirty and it leaks out so i got a little bit of gray water <clears throat> down in there that i need to vacuum out so waiting on the water i think it was probably full because I, th I don't think we really used much of it over the summer i know i filled it once um after we did use it, but I don't think we used it since then. So, waiting for water. Well, the uh, first load is already out in the car. Got a second load here to take out. So, let's grab the bin and take a walk.
Can I get a cup of ice too? Gracias. Yes. Alright, well it is uh, nearly that time, it's uh, 9.45, I'm going to try to make the uh, 10 o'clock, well I'm not going to try, I'm going to make the uh, 10 o'clock bridge opening. Everything is off the boat and I'm going to start the blower here in a second and undo the shore power, get the lines off the boat. It's pretty breezy this morning but um, the way that the direction of the wind is pretty much out of the south southeast. and. Uh, Actually, here in the marina, it's not it's not bad. I mean, you, the water's pretty calm. Um, you know, nothing's really moving around all that much. You can see, though, there at Sunny's, the flag is blowing pretty good. But um, this wind will actually give me a slight push off the dock so I can back out and get out of here. And then when I get over to quarter deck, I've been assigned to slip uh, E57 which is a port side bow in dock. And with the south wind, I should be able to just turn right in and get blown onto the dock. So shouldn't be any issue there. Um, I'll tie up and then wait for uh, whatever instructions they have for me to get in the lift. Um, depending on how the wind is over there, I may, I may let them do the, uh, the movement over to the lift this morning, um, but we'll just see how it goes. So. I'll set up the camera here and uh, roll while I back out and ho head over to uh, quarter deck. All right, that was fun. But here we go. I had to time that just right because obviously the wind pushing the boat off the dock was uh, giving me a little bit of trouble. So I kind of had to hold onto the bow, uh, hold it on the dock while holding the stern line, <laughs> kind of running back and forth and balancing the boat until um, until I was able to balance it just right, time it just right, so that I could jump on the swim deck, get it in gear, and then get off the dock. Everything was done safely. Um, no issue, just a little bit of running back and forth. Got my line here, ready to give to the guys at quarter deck once I get over there. It's uh, 9.55, 9.56, I got just a couple minutes for the bridge to open. Michigan Street Bridge, Motor Vessel Clifford. Michigan Street Bridge, go ahead. Yeah, just coming out of uh, Harbor Club and uh, looking for the 10 o'clock opening. I don't know if you see me or not. Copy that. Appreciate the heads up and I'll get it up for you. That'll be about five minutes. Stand by. Okay, thank you. All right, so 
I'll stop it for now and uh, turn it back on once I get through the bridges. You've seen this before. All right, well, we are through the bridges. It is a uh, breezy one out here. Not quite as windy as it was a couple of weeks ago um, yet, but I think it's going to get there today. Uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. I think there's gale warnings out for this afternoon, uh, especially on Lake Michigan. They're, they're showing the forecast of 45 plus out on the lake. So it's probably just going to get stronger and stronger even inland here, um, especially along the waterway where it's just open. Um, so it's a good thing I'm doing this this morning. And I uh, uh, shouldn't have all that, all that much of an issue getting into uh, the slip air quarter deck. Um, as I mentioned, wind coming from the south, southeast, um, I will actually be pointing basically straight south, going down the fairway. And I'm in a slip that's pretty close to the end, so I'm not gonna have to negotiate a bunch of other boats um, to get into this slip. Um, this is uh, E57, Echo 57, which is on, when you go into the fuel docks here, quarter deck will be on the left-hand side, and then it's a bow-in port side dock. So didn't do anything with my fenders, just left them alone. Um, they're hanging out there in the breeze, but I don't really care right now. And uh, once I get turned in, it should just blow me right onto the dock. Change channels over to the quarter deck so I can call them, get some dock assistance. Successfully on the dock over at quarter deck. That was uh, much easier than the last time I tried to do this in the wind. But uh, here we are tied up at quarter deck. Um, the uh, lift is right there, right in that area, two rows over. So I'm going to go up to a service and talk to Andrew and see what kind of uh, schedule they have and 
if it's gonna be a little while, I'm tempted to just say, see you later Clifford and let them do it. If it's gonna be soon, I'll stick around in video, but I think I'll let them do the uh, movement over to the lift either way. So let's go up to service and see what they say. All right, so I just met with uh, Andrew up at the service building and they are going to have me driving into the slings, which is fine. The wind is, I mean, once you're inside here, it's really not bad at all. So I'll have somebody help me push me off the dock and then uh, I'll drive it right into the slings just like I did last year. So probably won't record the whole process because that's already on my channel, but uh, we'll get some of the lift and get uh, Clifford put to bed for the winter. All right, well, I'm waiting for them to tell me um, that the uh, sling is clear. Um, they don't have anybody to um, move my boat over to the slings. Their guy, and I actually knew this because I texted, uh, texted their guy that normally moves the boats the other day, and unfortunately he is home quarantining because uh, of a uh, coronavirus um, issue at home, so. He's not here, so that means I will be moving the boat one more time out of the uh, temporary slip here on E-Dock and uh, move it over to the slings. So, looks like they have moved the boat, so sh they should be coming to get me anytime. And I think I'll time-lapse this, uh, this movement over to the slings. So, yeah, oh, here they come. Let's get the boat moved. cleaning thing all right as I mentioned we are out of the water and just like last year it is as dirty as can be I mean even being in fresh water just like the, this uh, fresh water barnacle they are everywhere the uh, sinks probably should be replaced in the shop. Find water line. Gross. So we'll get to spraying this off here shortly. While they get ready to uh, spray this off, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off. The, uh, the, the process is the same as last year if you wanna see uh, how they did it or what they do when they uh, spray off the boat when it comes out of the water, check out that video. Uh, it was around this time last year. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Um, we'll see what happens with Clifford if it gets sold. Um, I'll be working on some other boat projects. Uh, if it doesn't sell in the meantime, I will be doing some things to this over the winter once it gets put away in the storage building. So, hope you enjoyed this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments, and if you wanna be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that little notification bell. 
We'll see you next time. Happy boating, everybody.